Okay, this is Cindy. Blind Cindy. There's my ball. Until tomorrow. But I did figure something out. You get two dollar and sixty cent five gallon buckets. Draw holes at the bottom. Tickle the roots. Dip them in the root boost booster, which I have, which I have. They gave it to me at the garden center. I get freebies all the time. I know, I'm supposed to be resting. See, my tea. Got all kinds of food going on here. See, food, vegan, vegan nuts, raisins, eye stuff, pain pills. Man, this just ruined my whole transplant day. But it's cool. That's good. I had some time down. What you do is you get those five-gallon buckets. And I have bags of rocks out there and river rocks. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill those buckets up at the bottom to get rid of some of the space. So I'll have to use all that soil and drop two tomato plants in each one. Now, I'll tell you why. Because it's smart. In the center, or on each side, actually, you can stake them with the bamboo sticks, which are, like, dirt cheap. Stake them, tie them up. Yeah. See, I didn't know if you use Google+, Plus, you get, like, all kinds of hookups. And you can communicate better. See, that was one of my stressors last night. Five-gallon buckets, transplant the babies. Mix it with some compost. Don't know what to mix the compost with, so I'm afraid. It's okay. That'll feed it better. Probably going to do a 25 to 70. They got like, I'll call it 50, 30, 20, 50, 30, 10, whatever. Whatever, don't trip out on that. We'll figure it all out. But this is the gig. If you put them in the five-gallon buckets, you got to handle. Yeah. Actually, if you even wanted to... You could do a tomato transplant if you're doing outside like me. You have to move everything back in so you don't lose your stuff. You could put a flower next to it as a pest deterrent. <laughs> I can't be sick. Like, I am the worst sick person ever. This was the most painful experience of my life. And I have a high tolerance for pain. Like, you'd have to be beat me with a bad stick for me to feel it. Like, I can handle anything. I broke my baby toe and didn't even know it. Broke my finger, didn't even know it. This thing right here, this eye thing, this thing that happened to me, you would not believe what happened to me. In my sleep, I got what they call a mucus strand. And it picked up the debris in my eye because every eyeball has this molecular uh, particles every night. That's why you get the goo in your eyes when you wake up. And then I rubbed my eye when I woke up because I like, needed 52 cups of coffee, right? I rubbed mine. I'm like, oh, something in my eye. So I flushed it out a little bit. Nothing. Not even an hour later, I was in excruciating pain. Run to the ophthalmologist. Yeah, I have clothes on, you guys. Trust that. Um, run to the ophthalmologist. <clears throat> She's like, you have ripped your cornea. What? I got to garden. I got no time for this shenanigans. Well, my eye, I'm blind right now. I can't see out of this eye. I can't close it because it burns. I can't open it because it burns, burns. It's throbbing right here. She gave me these pain drops. I took four Tylenol. <laughs> because I don't take pain pills. Because I hate, I don't do pain. I don't want, what is it? Took four Tylenol. And I feel like I am on morphine. Really? But thank God I had this downtime. Because I watched this other kid's video. That has this really big accent. I forget what he's called. And he was like, don't trip. You're going to fail. You know, he's got like the easygoing attitude of fabulous beginner gardener advice. Love this guy. Amazing. However, 
I took on a bigger task than he said I should. But I did it anyway. If it fails, it fails, man. I'm not going to lose those big tomatoes, though. I'm going to learn as much as I can. So the five-gallon buckets at home, Casa de Pot, Home Depot, are $2.60 online. In the store, they're two fifty or two seventy five, whatever, fifteen cents difference. Go down there, get me six of those, put those rocks on the bottom or those little pebbles, one of the two, because I got bags and bags of them. Fill them up, they'll be heavy, but that'll occupy the space. People use those big styrofoam balls, that's stupid. Why not just use that rock? It's been in my shed for ever. I can't wait for hubby to get home because I got to do things on my own. So tomorrow I gotta go see her about this thing. And they're gonna take that contact lens off for pain relief. They put that lens in there, it's floating around, floating around, floating around. Man, I share everything with you guys, for real. Um, so this tear in my cornea and my lens is being protected by a contact lens inside my eyeball with in the contact lens puts out a pain reliever didn't even know it existed I never go to the doctor oh my god I hate going to the doctor it's so stupid why I fix myself so she put that in there and she said if they cannot get that mucus strand out they gonna have to take me to surgery yeah, that's crazy. Mm -mm, not gonna happen because the only friend that can fix my garden, she killed all her plants. No, no. So I'm doing everything the doctor told me. I got to do where is it? I got to do 20 drops of this every hour. I shouldn't even be doing that with my eyes. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. My mother said I should have been an actress. I'm too old though. Actually, I do plays, but who cares? So, I think I'm going to do the five-gallon buckets. I think I got my head set on that. Because that gives it root. You got to tickle the roots and then dip them in the root um, booster. And then set that in there and put that soil around it. You use that compost I got right there. It's been waiting. See? It's way over there in the living in the kitchen. Wait. My garden plot, I can just put all those five-gallon buckets in there. They're going to be heavy, but I can do it up on the tri-level. Haul them down. <laughs> and just get it done. It's get it done time. So I ain't going to make him a plan today. By being this, having this eye. Why did I touch right there? It hurts like hell. Okay. So I'm like Jenna Marbles, but old. I'm like, do, 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 do. I want to curse all the time and say bad words and stuff. I ain't those zen girls. You know what I mean? I'm zen, but I'm zany zen. Zany zen. So, my thing is to create a plan that's effective, high quality, get the best advice with the simplest people, and weed out all these burpy people. The burpy, burpy people are crazy. They do like a three-minute video, and they're like, Hi, my name is Moon Zappa. And she's like all cute. She has like a fanny pack and little snippers. I'm not going to tell her real name. And she's like, hi, we're out here on the homestead. You know what? I watched the Alaskan show and they're doing like off the grid stuff. And those girls are rock stars. They have full gardens in Alaska. And all their food is to store for the whole winter. And if you know anything about the Alaska frontier... Those girls are hardcore. Like they fight bears. Like these girls are hardcore and they're sweethearts. They're they're baby dolls. And these girls on Burpee are like, hi, my name is um Raindrop. And these all send this. Let me grab my little snippers. And they're so sweet. But they work for a company, see? I don't like that. I like freelance people. Not to say the company people aren't right, because they probably are. It's just I don't like the whole fanny pack and clipper holding. I'm a, I'm, I'm a wild child. You can't, man, you can't stop me. You can't slow me down. That's why we're doing the Garden Revolution. I was thinking about today while I was ill, 
to get the Sharpie and do this, like, I'm going to have the graffiti guys come down, these Mexican guys I know, and have them spray paint the wall. Is that crazy or what? And you should see my husband. He's an easygoing, simple guy from Alabama. Hey, like, baby doll, if that's what you want to do now, honey, is that going to make you happy? What, you need you about $4,000? No, I don't need $4,000, baby doll. Uh, he sits right here in this chair. He's such a doll, baby. And I love my husband. He's such a good man. And he drives to Canada. And he does double drop deck glass. And so on. He's a great truck driver. People have an image of truck drivers. They ain't that they're not nice. They're the greatest guys that ever walked the earth. They're, my husband is one of those guys. Tough guy. Like a Texas Ranger with a side of crazy Alabama. So my baby doll husband, Timmy, Jimmy, Kimmy. Chris is the only one, my oldest son.